Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a SAR K245C. All steel frame, double action, single action, 45 ACP handgun. It doesn't matter what I feature. Someone says you have to check out the SAR K2 models. They are amazing. And I took this to the range already. It performed very well. I had a couple minor hangups if you will. I'm going to talk about that. But overall it was extremely accurate. It is heavy. There is no doubt. Now, this is like a CZ copy. It disassembles the same as the CZ. It has many of the same features, but it also has a little SIG flare to it. Do you see that? Here's my P220. You see that? A little bit of a SIG flare. I, I, I capture that when I look at this. I say that kind of looks a little bit SIG-ish, but it is a nice handgun. Pretty heavy. We're going to get it on the scale. Now, the mags say, uh, the witness holes say 14 rounds. But I can fit 13 in. And on the SAR site, it says 13. So this is a 13 round mag with a 14 etched in there as the witness hole. It does have a polymer grip, all right, with vertical texturing, both in the back strap and the front strap. Beveled out a little bit. Nice, nice overall feel. It's a bit thick, a little bit blocky three slot pick rail fully adjustable rear sights all right both with your elevation and windage pinned in front dot they have these in a blued model they're a little bit less expensive this is the 4.2 inch barrel they also have a 4.7 inch barrel so i have to believe the 45 with the c there stands for compact nice feeling gun and a pretty nice shooting gun as well i have to say now the Single action trigger pull is pretty nice. Four and a half pounds is what my scale's measuring it at. And your reset, very similar to a CZ. Double action, very heavy. The one thing this will do that most CZs don't do, I doubt you'll ever use it, but you could run the thumb safety without the hammer cock back. So it doesn't necessarily affect many people i don't know anybody that run thumb safety with the hammer dropped like that but it is not an ambidextrous you can see right there it says sarsomaz k245c stainless here if you go with this and you're looking at for a price you're looking at between 600 and 650 the 4.7 inch barrel is a bit more but you get the paperwork they put these on the trigger guard of the handguns okay past inspection and then you get paperwork two 13 round mags a patch tool and a bore brush right there all right so that that's what you're looking at right closer to 600 some have it at like six and a quarter or whatever but i took it to the range let's go ahead and check out some of that and i'll talk about the hang-ups that i had Now, on two occasions, I had a failure to chamber, and I'm not sure if it was the Freedom Munitions 45 or if it was just this gun being new and getting used to being chambered often or whatever the case. All I did was hit the, the back of the slide, and it chambered no problem. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let's do a non-scientific test here with Arms Core 45 jacketed hollow points, 230 grains. We'll go ahead and see how well this chambers. No problem. It does have a sight hole indicator, by the way. I'm not sure I mentioned that. But we'll go ahead and charge around. And I have six more in the magazine. Let's go ahead and charge those. Two, three. So, based on this analysis... I'm chalking that up to ammo because those ran through smoothly. Based on my limited range experience at this point, I would say that it shoots as accurate as a CZ45. Now, not quite as 
great as my 97 BD this is a larger model we'll take a look at the difference in the slide length but the the beaver tails are similar let's see if you can see it like that but this is a much more expensive gun love the 97 BD and so far I, I really dig this K245C let's go ahead and disassemble it we already showed clear there all right, so the two dots on the back of the slide, we're just going to align those. This pin needs to come out. We'll take the bottom of the mag and pull out that pin, and off comes the slide. Full length frame rails, uncaptured steel guide rod, and a 4.2 inch barrel. There it is. It does have a safety right there. We really call that a plunger. All right, and then the frame. Could use some uh, some cleaning. Run a bore brush through it and a couple Q-tips. It's only at the range one time, but but a, definitely a, a nice shooting handgun. It, I think it looks cool. It's got some of that shipping grease all over it. I think it looks cool. I like the stainless. I think it looks a little better than the the blued models. But let's go ahead and get this on the scale before we wrap up this review. I hope it's a review. Let's see. Unloaded weight. Dial that down. Two pounds, six ounces. Puts it right at 38 ounces. But I have 14 rounds. Now remember, it's a 13 round magazine with one in the chamber. You're looking at 47 and 5 eighths ounces. Just for fun, let's throw the CZ on there. 97 BD, 51 and an eighth. So definitely have your longer barrel. But the SAR K2 45C, nice handgun. I like that single action trigger. I like the overall feel of it. I like the way it looks. I think it looks super cool. Adjustable rear sight, pinned in front dot. There's a look at the vertical serrations in the back strap and the front strap. If you can get this for around 600 bucks, I think it's a good deal. I think it's a, it's a great deal. If you can get it for under 600 and the reason I say that is because everything has gone up. You know this, but it at one point sold for the mid fives. So an additional 50 bucks, compare that to the eggs that you buy today. It's, it hasn't gone up as much as so many other things. But there it is, the SAR K245C. Nice looking handgun. Definitely a shooter at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.